Meg out of inheritance. Sussex madly as Charles announced publicly Kate inherits Queen's tiara. The Princess of Wales joined members of the royal family at the annual diplomatic reception, when over 500 members of the diplomatic corps are welcomed to the state rooms at Buckingham Palace. Kate Middleton is back with a stunning accessory from the royal vaults. The Princess of Wales joined Prince William, King Charles and Queen Camilla at Buckingham Palace on Tuesday evening for the diplomatic reception. The event is held each year, with the royals welcoming hundreds of members of the diplomatic corps to the palace's state rooms. Kate, 40, wore the lotus flower tiara, marking the first time she's sported the headpiece since 2015. She previously wore the sparkler at the 2013 diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace as well as the 2015 state banquet for Chinese President Xi Jinping. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother created the lotus flower tiara out of a necklace that was a wedding gift from her husband, the future King George VI, according to the court jeweler. Their daughter Princess Margaret later wore the piece, and Princess Margaret loaned the piece to Serena Stanhope when Serena married Margaret's son in 1993. Princess Kate paired the tiara with a red gown by Jenny Packham as well as a blue sash and her yellow royal family order. She completed her look with earrings that belonged to Queen Elizabeth II. Meanwhile, Queen Camilla appeared at the reception in the Belgian sapphire tiara that previously belonged to Queen Elizabeth II. The diplomatic reception did not take place in 2020 and 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In February 2022, Queen Elizabeth, who died in September, followed the advice of the UK's Foreign Secretary to postpone the reception that was scheduled to take place on March 2 at Windsor Castle amid the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The glamorous reception comes just two weeks after Kate made her tiara debut as the Princess of Wales. For a state banquet honouring South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on November 22, Princess Kate wore a white gown by Jenny Pack compared with Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara. With pearls hanging from diamond knots, the tiara was a favourite of her mother-in-law, Princess Diana. According to the court jeweller, the headpiece is more than a century old and was originally commissioned from the jeweller Garrard by Queen Mary in either 1913 or 1914. It is a replica of a tiara owned by Mary's grandmother, Princess Augusta of Hesse, the Duchess of Cambridge. The princess completed her look with a bracelet that belonged to Queen Elizabeth II and earrings that previously were her late mother-in-law Princess Diana's. Rince William and Kate Middleton have made the most of their whirlwind trip to Boston. The couple's appearance at a Boston Celtics game and William's meeting with President Joe Biden were just a few highlights. The crown jewel of their visit came on December 2 when the royals attended the Earthshot Prize Awards as guests of honor. While William and Kate posed for standard red carpet photos that night, one candid, behind-the-scenes shot released a few days later offered a more romantic look at the night. In a black-and-white photo shared on December 6 by Kensington Palace's Twitter account, William and Kate appeared so in love during the ceremony while smiling and wrapping their arms around each other. Behind the scenes at the second annual Hashtag Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony, the photo was captioned celebrating brilliant solutions and the inspiring people behind them. According to the award show's official website, Prince William created the Earthshot Prize to honor the best and most ingenious solutions to repair and regenerate our planet. Five winners will be announced each year over the next decade and they'll be awarded $1.2 million each to further develop their planet-helping idea. Information about this year's winners can be found here. The Earthshot Prize was inspired by John F. Kennedy's historic 1962 moonshot speech, during which he spoke about the importance of space exploration and challenged the nation to get a man on the moon before the end of the decade. Ahead of the Earthshot Prize Awards, William met Kennedy's daughter Caroline Kennedy and her children Jack and Tatiana Schlossberg Kennedy and her children 